So how can you become confident faster? I remember reading my first book from Jen Sincero, You Are a Badass. I actually listened to it first and I'm so glad that I did. The way that she explains things is on another level. It both gave me a laughing spell and a gut check at the very same time. She said things like, you're responsible for what you say and do. You're not responsible for whether or not people freak out about it. So often we pretend we've made a decision when what we've really done is signed up to try it until it gets uncomfortable. The only failure is quitting. Everything else is just gathering information. But then she shared one that completely stopped me. Jen said, because so often when we say we're unqualified for something, what we're really saying is that we're too scared to try it, not that we can't do it. Ouch. At the time, I could talk about 50 different things that I wasn't qualified for that I really believed that I could never do, which is exactly why I was stuck and not moving forward. And that's why we put this video together for you. I want to share what those things were for us, how you can find out what might actually be holding you back, and how you can step into your true badass confident self once you do. And be sure and stay to the end as I've got a bonus tip that will make sure you never go down the path of being too scared to try again. So if you're ready to do that with us, let's go. It's time to redefine leadership. Welcome to Modern Leadership, where we see things differently. Our channel is all about empowering entrepreneurs like you to achieve the next level of success in business and life. We believe that you can create a massive impact in the world without compromising your personal life or family time to do so. We're committed to providing you with actionable tips and strategies weekly to make that possible. So if you're ready to become a modern leader and make a lasting difference in the world, consider subscribing, turn on notifications and dive into our community. We want to thank you for being here because the world needs your leadership now more than ever. Let's go. Now, initially, Teresa got me onto this book. So I'm curious, like what got you interested in Jen Sincero's book and why did you pick it up? Well, the book is about confidence and improving your confidence. And that was something that I was really lacking in a lot of different areas. So when I heard about this book, I had to pick it up. So many people were talking about it, so I had to read it. And let me say that I have read it five times, and I've listened to it a few times as well. What's crazy is that every single time you listen to it or you read it, you like kind of pull out some new things from it, some new nuggets and some new wisdom. But also at the same time, she kind of is hilarious and she gets you to just laugh about some of the things that we struggle with. All right, so let's go back to that quote that you said. So because so often we say we're unqualified for something, What we're really saying is that we're too scared to try it, not that we can't do it. So what does that mean to you? So what it means to me is a lot of times my brain would try and trick me into believing that it wasn't something that I can do, that I didn't have confidence or I didn't have the skills and I wasn't qualified to do it. So that meant I could kind of get myself off the hook by not doing it. But some of those things were like critical to not only growing a business, but to becoming a better father, a better husband. I had to be willing to step into those. But my brain did this really crazy thing of convincing me that I couldn't, I wasn't qualified, so I didn't have to try. And it's really that thing that kept me stuck for so long. So let me give you an example. So I was a police officer before becoming a life and performance coach. Now, at that time, being in the police field, I kind of had this thought that I just wasn't good at sales. I couldn't get somebody to buy a program. I didn't know much about being online. I didn't know about sales and marketing and all of these different skills that I needed to learn in order to grow a business. And so in the beginning, I kind of convinced myself that it just isn't possible to do those things, right? And what's crazy is I was still trying to build a business, but I was kind of getting stuck because anytime one of those things would come up, I wouldn't be willing to lean in to learn from it and be willing to learn along the way. And so when I started to lean into that, when I started to think about, well, just because I'm a police officer does not mean that I'm never going to be qualified enough to make sales, never going to be qualified enough to run a business. It's just a different set of skills that I have to be willing to lean into, not only develop, but actually be confident knowing that there's only two possible outcomes, right? Either I do it right and it succeeds, which didn't happen a lot. Or number two is I do it wrong and I learn and I grow. Now I do kind of want to hear from you. Can you give us maybe an example of when this came up for you and what you're able to do? So this came up when I was working at UCLA. I worked there for nine years and I was developing my skills, but I still just didn't feel right because I wasn't necessarily super confident about the work that I was doing. Now I was learning, I was even getting credentials, but there was always something in the back of my mind where I didn't feel like I truly belonged. So that really affected my confidence. 
So as I became more aware of that, I started to kind of find ways to be able to improve that. And the book was one of them. Yeah, I remember when we were having conversations about that, I remember some of the people at UCLA were approaching you and saying, I think you should go out for this job promotion, or I think you should go out for this thing. And I remember at the time, I didn't really understand how to coach, but I was doing whatever I could to kind of like root for you to get you to take those actions because I could see it too. So many times when we're the person that's behind the scenes and it's happening to us, uh, we kind of feel like we're not qualified. But for everybody else on the outside, they're like, what are you talking about? Like, this is the perfect thing for you. That's why it's also important that you hang out with the right people, because if you hang out with the right people, they'll be able to recognize it, but then also call you out on it. So you kind of talked about some of the things you did back then, but what do you do differently now? So when you feel that same stuff come up, I think a lot of people might be watching this going, well, they must not ever feel that ever again. It's not something that goes away, but it's something that you could take a different perspective, see it from a different limelight, which is literally what Jen taught us how to do. So I'm curious, what do you do now in that situation or when those feelings come up? Yeah, they always come up. They're always going to come up because you're going to a different level. So every time you reach that level, it's like new level, new devil. Mm -hmm. So that's when you start to feel that uncomfortableness and that fear that, oh, I'm trying something new, so I'm too scared to do it or I'm going to fail. So when those thoughts start to come up for me, I start to kind of think back to what I've done. So I go back into the past and I'm like, okay, I've been in a position like this before. It may look different, Because now it's like, oh, now I'm going to become a life coach, something I've never done before, right? I look back to some of the things that in hindsight are much harder than what they are now, and I got through it. So that gives me a little bit of boost of confidence to actually go out and try something new. Yeah, I I really love that idea because it's basically using the best of the past to be able to pull into the future, Mm -hmm. right? Like you said, we've all climbed mountains, right? And what's crazy is like, the only reason why the mountain that you're climbing right now is hard is because it's the one you're currently climbing. Right. But you can always turn around and you can see all of the other mountain peaks that you've climbed before. And now that you're climbing this mountain, which might be a little different, you still know what shoes to wear, where to stop, what food to bring, who to bring with you, who to not bring with you, right? All of these things that we've learned, we can literally now take them and move them into the next area. So I really do love that. But I also like to take people through the current time right now and the impact that you're here to make. So some of the things that I would typically ask in a situation like this where somebody feels a lack of confidence is to remind them that it's not really about them. It's about the person you're going to inspire. It's about the reason why you're doing this. It's about you being on your A game and who needs you to be on that A game. And when you realize that there's people out there who are struggling, who need what you have to offer, and if you're willing to like open your mouth to share it with them, they may use this same exact thing that's changed your life to change theirs too. And when you put it on to other people and the impact that you're going to make, it just gives you this different feeling than making it about you or what other people are going to think about you. And when I can help somebody retrain that in the moment to remind them that this person needs me on my A-game, there's going to be a whole lot of the wrong people that I come across, but I'm willing to do that and feel uncomfortable because I'm willing to find the right person. So I know that in our programs, like the Inner Circle or the Life Coach Certification, all of that stuff, you talk about the difference between confidence and self-confidence. I think that's super important to talk about here. Can you break that down for us? Yeah, I think this is a great way to learn how to become confident faster. Now, there's a difference between confidence and self-confidence. This is something that I personally learned in my life coach certification from Brooke Castillo. And the way that she described it is confidence has to do with the past. When I ask you, how confident are you that you can pour a glass of water without spilling it? If you've done it a thousand or a million times before, you're pretty confident because you're dependent on the past. Self-confidence, though, comes from a different place. It comes from this place of having complete confidence in yourself without any outside evidence, knowing there's only two possible outcomes. Number one is it works, or number two, you learn and you grow. Knowing that the worst thing that you can ever experience is a feeling in your body. Because if we have to be dependent on confidence, which is things that we've done in the past, that means we can never do anything new. But we can tap into self-confidence. If we can love ourselves enough to know that we're going to put ourselves out there and we may make a mistake, but we're going to learn so much from it, it actually makes us the exact person to help teach other people to do that too. Because when we step out into the unknown and we take action, not only does that provide hope, but it provides the inspiration that people know to keep going on. So I want to pass it back to you. What are some practical tips that you would recommend to someone who wants to start off in this journey to becoming a confident, badass leader? Well, we're talking about the book. So I would suggest you dive into Jensen Cheryl's books. 
And in case you didn't know, we also have a free business book club. And we pick the top leadership and business books and break them down as a team. Yeah, there's something to reading books with other people where you can get your takeaways and share it and get to hear from everybody else's takeaway too. That is definitely something that has sped up our growth and our business and why we wanted to pass it on to our community as well. We'll leave you the link in the description. Thank you for being here and for leaning into the self-confidence that's already inside of you. We appreciate you for what you do out there every single day and keep leading from the front leader.